All right, so this is Gray Zone Warfare. Um, this is the game we've had hyped up for months now. It's the extraction shooter, the looter shooter that everybody's been talking about. It's supposed to be a Tarkov killer. Um, personally, though, I wouldn't call it a Tarkov killer, nor would I call it a competitor. I know a lot of people have been switching to that opinion over the last couple weeks. Um, in my opinion, it just feels like a hardcore Ghost Recon. And that might be an unpopular take on it, but that's just kind of what it feels like because you have the same um, kind of, I don't want to say the get out, but kind of like the same loadout style that you would have in a Ghost Recon game. Um, not as dumbed down, a little bit more complex than that, but definitely still kind of on that side of things. Um, it's kind of the basic, you know, tactical shooter inventory system. You got the Tarkov style uh, cache or locker on the right um, where you can store stuff at. This doesn't come pre organized, so you might want to take some time and organize it. This one took me a good half hour to uh, get set up just because of the amount of crap I had. Um, we have our different vendors, they're all okay. I haven't unlocked Banshee yet, I'm working on that one, but honestly, Lab Rat, Gunny, and Handshake are the only ones you really need right now. Artisan and Turncoat kind of sell the same stuff, but different, I guess. Um, not much, not much there, and honestly, most of this crap you can just find from AI, so it's not like you even need to go buy it. I'm going to go ahead and load up some missions here, and uh, we will get to that. You can watch my frame rate at the top right-hand corner of the screen. Um, you'll see it go up or down depending on what environment I'm in. Typically, the helicopters are the worst, um, just because they freaking suck at loading it. Negative. All birds are in the air. Oh yeah, that's the other problem. Um, there's not enough helicopters. Negative. All birds so, are currently dispatched. you'll get stuck Request in these denied. lobbies All available birds are in where flight. you literally Negative. can't go All anywhere. Birds are in the air. Negative. All birds are currently dispatched. It's really freaking annoying. So, I'm just going to chill out here and wait a second while we get a helicopter. And that's just all there. Sometimes you can, like, try to hop on board with other players' helicopters. The problem is, you can't really see it on the map before it lands at base, um, which is really annoying. And you have to ask them, but you don't know whose helicopter it is. So, hopefully they're going to patch that. I've heard rumors from some of the devs devlogs and stuff that they're going to be working on a solution for this. No idea when that's going to be complete, though. With that being said, let's get to the field. Raven on station and ready to pick you up. Get ready, we're moving out. Alright, so if you're paying attention, my frames are dropping immensely. We're at 30... We were at 80 and 70, pretty consistent. Now we're dropping down to 30, 40, 50. Kind of holding in at 60 range for now. Um, this is definitely why I would recommend capping your frames, just because it gives you a little bit more of a consistent feel, even though it's still going to be pretty bad in certain places. I think though that's just because it's an early access. Once the full game is released, we should be able to see some better... Um, better frames and probably some better graphics as well um, again I'm playing on a 1080 Ti don't expect crazy stuff out of this game it's um, a very graphically demanding game if you've been watching other people play it you'll know that their 4090s are having a heck of a time trying to play this on that topic I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a video of my graphic settings right here um, I'll put a timestamp in the video for the action so on here, I'm going to show my graphic settings. Um, feel free to play around with these, but this is what I found has worked best. It took me from around 35 FPS to close to 70. Um, so I put my vertical field of view at 68. Um, I know this is kind of a controversial thing, but I saw another YouTuber do it, and um, it actually helped quite a bit. Turn VSync off. Um, you can play around with these. I capped my frame rate at 60. Um, you can do this or you can't. Um, I liked it just because it kept it consistent and it helps with my monitor. Um, these quality presets, you can uh, copy them if you'd like. 
Um, again, I am playing on a 1080 Ti, so just know that if you have a newer one, these might be a little bit low for your graphics card. Uh, post processing, I didn't really do much on this one. Um, I think I just turned off motion blur and put low on uh, post processing. And then for the advanced section, I went ahead and did FSR. Um, and the main thing that I wanted to do with this is swap fidelity FX to balanced. Um, this gave me the highest frame jump out of everything. Um, again, feel free to play around with them. This is just what I found has worked best. Um, and I hope it should work well for you too. All right, so once you're actually in the field, um, you can go ahead and open up tab, go to the task section, and that'll give you all your active tasks. We're looking at Bounds of Madness 2 and Warm Welcome and Shadow over Banpa. Um, these ones are for different locations, so we're going to focus on these three. I think Mounds of Madness 2 and Shadow over Banpa are the same mission, because sometimes you can choose to bring in different intel to different uh, factions different uh, faction leaders. Also, there is a really helpful IGN interactive map that you can pull up and it is extremely helpful for finding intel. That's my target building right there. Oh. That's not us, so I don't know who that is. Dead body. These streets are really chaotic sometimes. So you do have to find keys for certain missions, um, it can be pretty annoying, but usually you just go kill some AI and you can find it pretty fast, since we're looking for a mysterious book. A little medic bag, grab some gauzes, always need those. You get shot up pretty bad in this game, uh, I won't even lie. Alright, so we got the intel, uh, now we just need to kill the leader. But there's another guy here, so you probably already killed him. That is another problem with some of these, like, target missions, are people kill them before you get there, and then you have to either come back another time or just wait until they respawn. And the respawn time is pretty long. It also appears that certain AI respawn faster than others. I don't know what's with that, but like the ones that are guarding the town on the outside, like on the roads and stuff, always respawn faster than the guys inside. I'm not sure if that's some like bug or if that's intentional. It's just kind of weird. So we got a new plate carrier. I'm gonna go ahead and swap to that one because mine's already damaged. Um, some of these items are better than others. So I found that a lot of times the Russian or um, Eastern Forces plate carriers are a little bit better than some of the um, American or Western ones. That's just kind of what I found. I'm sure there's probably a distinguishable difference, but I haven't really seen much from it. You do need to keep your health and um, hydration and energy up. Um, you can use these by these little bars in the bottom left hand side of your character screen. Pretty simple, you just drink when you need to and you eat when you need to. Hello. Hey, did you kill everybody? 
Uh, I'm trying to. I've not seen many of them. Yeah, no, somebody killed them before I got here. Yeah, I think I've taken out two or three of them, but there's not, not a huge amount of them left. Yeah, I gotta kill that freaking gang leader and he's freaking annoying. Uh, right, yeah, I'm on the kill 20 of them mission, so I think I'm a little bit behind you. Uh, that was pretty easy. If you want to just sit up here in this elder house, you can shoot most of them. Because they spawn down there on the dock half the time. Uh, right, okay, fair enough. Cool. Cheers, Dee. Yep. The community in this game is pretty good, too. Um, he's not even on my team. He's on a different faction. But I'm playing on this mission called Joint Ops, or this game mode called Joint Ops, and um, basically it's no PvP. It's really fun. Um, I know a lot of people are like, what you know about playing the full game? What? I just kind of want to run around and shoot AI sometimes, you know? I don't really want to feel like I'm in Daisy every second of my life. Alright, this guy's not spawning, so we're going to go ahead and head back to base, turn that crap in, and we should be able to come back and kill him. Alright, so now that we're back, you might think, oh, the quest item automatically goes to the vendor. It doesn't, you have to manually turn it in. So, you just go over to the vendor, go to task, click on the one you were doing, and press handover. I think this one can get sent to both, though. So I'm going to go ahead and do a handshake just because Artisan's kind of useless right now. Complete that. We got our rewards. Look at that. We can go back to Banpa. Woohoo. So we'll go ahead and do that one. And I'll go ahead and accept this one while I'm here. Probably won't do that one today. I'm at the point where I almost get too many guns, so then I end up just selling them. Alright, now we can go back to Banpa. Another 10 minute helicopter. Alright, let's go. Alright, so let's take a second to talk about what you need to be packing in your kit. So, when you first start out, you're probably going to have pretty crappy weapons. I know these starter guns are half decent, but they're not, like, not that good. Um, so you're going to want to try to swap those out as soon as you can. And what you're going to swap them out with is cheap AKs that you get off an AI. Um, why are you doing this? Because you need ammo. Um, and the ammo can get pretty expensive pretty fast for ARs. So... Literally, you just go kill a guy, grab his AK, go for the AKM, not the 74. The 74 ammo is pretty hard to find. Unless you get it off a guy like this, in which case you get four mags. Um, but this is not a starter town. So you're going to want to try to get as much ammo as you can. If you're, if you do just really want to rock an AK, or an AR, I mean, um, bring a ton of ammo with you. The way I usually do it is I'll bring four mags in the carrier. Um, usually a mag in the pistol and a mag on the belt for the pistol. And then... Oh, there we go. Some action. And then along with that, I will, um... I will be carrying individual rounds. So I usually carry them in stacks of... Oh, crap. Help. Help. Please help. I'm in a comb over here, dude. Welcome to Grey's Zone Warfare. Like I was saying, carry a ton of ammo with you. You're going to use it. Um, and carry a ton of medical supplies. You're going to use all of it. Um, bring bandages. Bring splints. Bring surgical kits. Bring painkillers. Dang it. Good thing we have a crap ton of stuff. I'm feeling like rocking with the AK-74. I don't really use that one that much. Pick up a cheap plate carrier real quick. Negative. All birds are in the air. 
Gosh darn it. I'm gonna lose all my crap, aren't I? Negative. All birds are in the air. Gosh darn it, dude. It wasn't even like I was in a gunfight, I just got freaking wall bang. Die, sooners die. You don't have the gun I need. You have the gun I need. Gosh darn it, no you don't. Okay. There we go. Look at my crap back. It's in that building on the right up there. Please don't be looted. Oh good. Okay. Sick. Gotta figure out where this gang leader's at, dude. Bet that's him right there. Let's figure out what the other tasks are. Alright, you know what? We're gonna get out of this building. I don't freaking like this. The task we need to do is right below us. We're gonna go grab that real quick. Bug out. He got stuck. My aim is trash. Oh my gosh. This is the right proper firefight, ain't it? Oh my gosh. Yo, where's the next plane going to? For bird, sorry. It's hard to tell until it takes off. I hate that. I wish they would tell it as it's Who ordered the next one? Who ordered the next one? Where are you going to? Answer me. Where are you going to? Where are you going to? Okay, you're retarded. Freaking died in Van Pa, and now my stuff's gone. That's weird. Did you die going back? Roger, Raven is in the air and heading to base. No, I got domed out of nowhere. Yeah, you'll just be like walking through a house and then freaking three shots go out of nowhere and you're dead. <laughs> yep. Raven here, I'm moving out. Alright, this one's going to India too if you want to join me. Let me see. I, I think I gotta go to YBL. Somebody went to India? 
I'm going to Banpa, India too. Cool, same place. Alright, hop on with me. Yep, get on. Strap in, we're heading out. Don't die. Thanks. Keep right out. Alright. Current mission. Recover the body. Should be able to just run up to it real quick. Sometimes you gotta play stealthy. It's just how it is. Alright, that's the building right there. They got shot from that direction. Oh, that's an AI right there. Alright, so we're gonna go in here. I need my kit back, so. That's our first thing. Here is going to be staying mobile. Oh, great. Someone's starting up the hornet's nest. Disappointing. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna extract. Get out of here. I've already died multiple times. We're just gonna call it and get out. Sometimes a strategic retreat is what you need. I hope you all have enjoyed watching this video. This is Grey Zone Warfare. Um, if I had to sum up this game in a couple words, I would say it's hardcore Ghost Recon mixed with Daisy. Um, that's about where I'm gonna go with it. Um, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave me a like, subscribe, helps out the channel a lot. Go ahead and leave me a comment, those help out the most, and I enjoy reading all of your comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.